Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name's Wasmatic, and we are in the frozen mountains of Bolivia. Well, actually, we're not. We're, we're sat uh, in uh, at home at the computer, but we're in uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands, and we are in the frozen mountains of Bolivia. Now, this video is going to be a precursor to some uh, build guides that I'm going to make, and I thought for those people who don't have the game, it might actually help if they had an understanding of what are the basic mechanics, resources, and mechanisms which you progress through the game in. So forgive me if this is new to you, if this isn't new to you, and forgive me if this is a little bit dull, but helping understand the mechanics um, will help you understand how you can spec your character. So I'm going to dive straight into the skills screen. And um, actually, no I'm not. Scrap that. What I'm going to do is show you the map first off. So in the map there are provinces, and in the provinces you have stories that you need to complete. This isn't a great province to pick because I kind of flew over here last night with uh, one of my friends in co-op. So here's the province that we're most active in at the moment and you will see we have a number of resources that are at your disposal. First and foremost let's find, okay, so you have here's an example, a side mission which gives you food parcels. Now there are I think five resources that you need to collect in the game. You have your skill points, which you can collect from going to locations and picking them up, or you get a skill point every time you level. Those skill points you spend here. So those are your skill points. That number eight there are your skill points. So you can spend one skill point, and it will get you uh, there, for example, hip fire spread, one skill point, and 50 gasoline points. So that's one of the resources. Forgive me. That's Dan. Um, the second... Uh, resources that you collect are these resources here and I group them all into the same group they are gasoline medicine uh, technology I think and food um, and basically these resources you also need to spend to unlock these skills so if I was to look at getting the grenade launcher here you can see on the bottom right it says I need two skill points to get that and 450 of these um, uh, let's have a look what is it a gunsmith? I don't know. I don't know what those resources are, but you basically got electronics, I think. Uh, that one has 3,500 gasoline, so you can see that's in red for ammo capacity. I need four skill points, which I've got, but I need 3,500 gasoline points. I can't unlock that currently, so what I can do is go back to the map and look for missions that will give me gasoline points. Uh, none available at the moment, so that it's comms tool. There we go, comms tool. So I can't currently unlock that and I can't currently find any missions that will give me those resources that I need. But basically in terms of your skills, those are the primary resources that you need. You have your skill points and these resources which you spend to unlock them. You gather those resources. You can also, and I will show you this quickly and it's very specifically why I've picked this point here. If you look on the minimap you can see a little green uh, square with a line underneath it. These are resources. So these aren't mission resources. These are randomly scattered resources throughout the game world, which you can pick up. Tag. We'll let the rebels know where go. to find these supplies. They so that's given me 50 later. medication points. So I now know that I've got 50 more medication points. So as you progress through the game, look for those locations on the mini map. You'll see them scattered around when you're completing missions, usually in mission areas. Um, so you've got your skill points and you've got your resources that you need to spend to get your skill points. The other resources that you need to consider of those five are these stars here are medals. So if you look at hip fire spread for example, you can see that I've got uh, the next rank is one skill point and 50 gasoline. No problem, I could get that now if I wanted. I don't. Uh, the next rank gives you 10% spray reduction, etc, etc. But underneath that you can see that if you pick up a medal, you get an additional 10% spray reduction. So the third resources that you need to gather are these medals. So um, when you get those medals, they'll give you like an extra boost. So if I go down to, um, let's have a look, I think it's in physical, there you go. So you can see, for example, I don't have any skill points in bullet resistance. I haven't spent any points there, but I actually have picked up the medal. So I'm actually getting a 5% damage reduction, even though I, don't, I haven't spent any skills in that area. And each, each of these skills will give you a, a boost of some description. Now those medals are locations that you will pick up. As you as you scoot through the game, uh, I don't think I've got any visible at the moment. Let's have a look. Any metal locations? 
No, I've picked them all. Oh, yes, there we go. There's one. So this is a medal location for no pain. Duration increases by 50%. So if I go to my skills, that's probably in physical. No pain. That's the medal there. Duration increased by 50%. So um, those are your skill points, your resources, and your medals. Then you have two other resources that you need to gather. And uh, It's better if I go to the map for this. But I call this a resource. It's probably not. It's weapons. So scattered throughout the map are your weapons. So if you want to change your SMG, or in this case, if you want a semi-automatic shotgun based on the AK-47, don't know how that works, but um, you need to go to that location, kill whoever's there, and then go to a case and open that case, and that will give you that weapon. Then what you can do is select your loadout, and you can choose from your loadout which weapon you want to look at. So you can see here, for example, I've picked up uh, a new SMG, which is the uh, 9x19 VSN. So I've got that SMG. Now this brings us to the final resource that you need to gather in the game to improve your capabilities and level up, and those are the weapon parts. So again, if I go back to the map, you will see uh, on the map, and I know I've got some here, here's the weapon parts. So again, just like the weapons, so sorry, fast mouse. Just like the weapons, so you, you can go and pick up the weapons, and, and the, like a mission in itself. Then you have accessory cases that are scattered around the map, and those accessory cases will give you upgrades or, or modifications for weapons that you've unlocked. So for example, that submachine gun that I've just unlocked, I'd want maybe a suppressor for it, or I'd want maybe a magazine with 30 bullets instead of 10 bullets, or maybe 20 bullets. So that's how you upgrade your capability. As you progress through the game, you'll very quickly find out that having a magazine with only 10 bullets in will really get you into trouble if you if the shit hits the fan, basically. So for example here you can see this is a folded buttstock <laughs> he said butt, for um, an SMG. So you'd go to that island, you'd fight whoever's there and pick it up. So basically those are your five resources. You've got your skill points, you've got your resources, four different types of resources which help you unlock the skills. You have your medals which then further enhance those skills. Then you've got your weapon parts and you've got your weapons themselves that you need to pick up. And that in itself, those are the mechanics and, and the resources that you need to collect to be able to level up. Now I don't know if I mentioned this earlier forgive me, old age, you can also gather skill points on the map. So you get a skill point when you level up, but you can also do missions which unlock skill points. So this one, for example, will give you one skill point. This mission here, if you do that, will give you three skill points. So what this what this game gives you an enormous variety of ways to be able to spec your character how you want and to pick the character how you want. Now there is something else that I haven't mentioned which is Rebel Support, which kind of stands outside on its own. These are um, these are extra missions that you can you can call in uh, for some extra support at any given time. Now I'll show you an example of this. You actually call up a, a wheel here. Uh, now if I wanted a vehicle dropping off, I can get the. Re I've unlocked this, so I've done a mission to unlock these. All of these uh, support capabilities. These are all you need to do missions to unlock them. And once you've unlocked them, you then need to go into your skill tree and do further missions where you can you can unlock more. So you get the ability to unlock um, vehicle drop-off. So you can see there, for example, level 1 at the moment, I can only call an SUV. Level 2, I can call an armoured vehicle. Level 3, I can actually get a helicopter delivered. Same with the guns for hire. They give you um, more advanced, larger groups, uh, greater bullet resistance, more accuracy on the firing, more etc, etc. You get the idea. So that in itself, ladies and gentlemen, uh, is the mechanics of the game and um, the story missions, which I'll just mention briefly, those story missions will progress you through the provinces in the game. That said, if I zoom right out, you can see here that this is uh, an enormous map and uh, there's an awful lot to do. These are enormous enormous landscapes it's truly vast so this is my character over here by this helicopter and uh, last night we flew over here uh, just to get to have a nose about what these higher level locations are you can see we've not unlocked anything here at the moment um, so that's that's it ladies and gentlemen so the next video I will start to look at how do you in solo play pick the best skills and capabilities from all of those various elements and plug them together to give yourself the best start in the game if you're playing solo. So I'll make that video probably later today and have it posted up sometime tomorrow. Um, that's it. I hope you really enjoyed this very short guide to uh, all the mechanics of the game. 
As ever, if you don't subscribe, please give it a click, because uh, without you, I couldn't make these videos or continue to make them. So, thanks again. See you soon. Bye.